some quick questions on inequalities here, a little bit of insolving inequalities and the kind of way they like to ask the questions, these questions on inequalities in exams. So these are all taken from past papers. I've got five questions if you just kind of follow along. So solving this inequality, this is something we should have looked at in the last video. Here we solve this just like we would solve an equation, but the inequality sign must hold. So I'm going to minus 7 from both sides, which will give me 3x on the left and minus 6 on the right. Divide by 3, I'm dividing by a positive 3, so the sign does not flip. So x greater than minus 2 would be the answer to this question. I can actually sub a value bigger than minus 2 back in and check that it works if I want to. So I can put something like 0 in, and when I put 0 in for x, the 3 times 0 is 0, 7 is bigger than 1, that's true, so I know that this inequality is satisfied and it holds. So I can quickly check if I want to, but just like solving an equation, the inequality sign holds, and then on a number line represent your solution, so x greater than minus 2, we've covered this previously, so greater than minus 2 means an open circle, oops, sorry, open circle at minus 2 and we want the values bigger than minus 2 so we draw our arrow pointing in the direction of all the values bigger than minus 2 right the way to the end of the number line and that shows x bigger than minus 2 so four marks quite a nice four marks really a couple of marks for solving your inequality and a couple of marks for getting the right number and drawing the arrow in the right direction so nice marks if we know what we're doing um, you can get these written down as well, so you can refer back to them. Pause the videos if you need to. Again, another question from a different exam paper. Inequality, we're going to solve it just like an equation, so we're going to add 3 to both sides. Inequality keeps holding. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Again, we've divided by something positive. So the inequality just holds the whole way through, so x less than 4, 2 marks n is a positive integer, write down all the values of n which satisfy this, so this relates to this, and we know the solution to this is that, so the solution to this will be the same, but rather than x, it's just going to be an n, remember n or x, it doesn't matter what letter they use, it's just an unknown, so 2x minus 3 is less than 5, 2n minus 3 is less than 5, they're going to have the same solution, one is in terms of x, one is in terms of n, so the answers to this inequality here, can be any value of n that's less than 4. But we're told that n is a positive integer. So we want all the things less than 4 that are positive. So if we draw a little number line out, if we were thinking of it like this, this is what a number line looked like. We want anything less than 4, which would be here. So we want things in this direction. Again, if we're doing it properly, we draw all the way. But we want things that are less than 4 and positive. Well, the things that are less than 4 and positive here, this is where the negative numbers start. So I can't have any of these numbers for this inequality if n is positive and a whole number. So I want anything that's less than 4 that is still positive and a whole number. So we'd want 1, 0 is not positive, so we can't have 0, 2, 3. And notice I cannot have 4 because this is strictly n is less than 4, okay, strictly less than 4. So it can't be 4 and it can't be bigger than 4. And n is positive because it tells us that in the question. So n is just 1, 2, or 3. Next question. Again, solve just like an equation. So we're going to minus, I'll just write it out in my writing. So there's the original question. We want to get all the x on one side, so we're going to minus 5x from both sides. Minus 5x. So it, it's going to take 5x from this. The two, minus 2 stays the same. Take 5x from the right, it gets rid of this. The 4 just stays the same. And then going to add 2 to both sides. Add 2, add 2. And then divide by 4. Again, I'm dividing by positive. So the inequality holds the whole way through. And then I'll just simplify my answer. So x is less than 3 over 2. Just like an equation, really. But notice how the whole way through my inequality sign holds. I don't change it to an equals, but I just treat it like an equals. And the only time I change anything is if I times or divide by a negative number. But none of that happens here. So we're fine.
Number four. Show this. So this is a combined inequality. So we want x to be bigger than minus 2, so an open circle at minus 2, but also less than or equal to 3, so it's sandwiched between minus 2 and 3, and 3 will be a closed circle because we've got the equal to bit underneath. Minus 2 we don't have, so it's open. For 3 we have the equal to bit, so it's closed. And we want any value between minus 2 and 3, so we connect the two circles. And again, n is an integer, so n is a whole number. So write down all the possible values of n which satisfy this. So this is saying n is a whole number, it must be a whole number, and it's sandwiched between minus 1 and 4. I can include minus 1 because of the equal to part of the inequality, but I can't include 4 because it's a strict less than 4. So n is between minus 1 and 4, including minus 1 but not including 4. So we could have minus 1, which is still an integer. We could have 0, which is an integer. We can have 1, 2, and 3. They're the integers between minus 1 and 4, including minus 1, but not including 4. And finally, solve this inequality. Again, just like an equation, minus 5 from both sides. Divide by 4. Again, I've not times or divided by anything negative. So the inequality just holds, stays the same way the whole way through. And then again, this relates to this. You can see they like asking this question. We've just done a similar one where they've just replaced x with n. So the answer to this will be the same as the bit above, but just with the n in terms of, in terms of n rather than x. Don't let that confuse you. Same question. So I want anything that's le n is less than or equal to 4, but n is also a positive integer again. So I can have anything that is an integer, so it's got to be a whole number. It's got to be positive, so it can't be 0 or negative. And then this says it's got to be less than or equal to 4. So I want positive whole numbers less than or equal to 4. So 1 is fine, 2, 3. And also this time 4 is fine because we've got that equal to bit that extra little double line underneath, I can have 4, so the 4 must be included this time. Notice the difference between strictly less than 4 would mean can't be 4. But because it's got the equal to bit as well as the less than, I can have the 4 as well. So a slightly shorter video, just a bit of price at how they kind of ask some of these questions. And there are other ways of them asking it, but these are the, the more basic ones. We should definitely be getting our marks here because they're always similar questions.